ankle. We're doing this for the first time ever. We can see how the ankle is bending. It's faster with forward speed for sure. It's giving back kinematic data, basically. I'm Taylor Leger. I'm a biomechanics research developer in the CCM Hockey Performance Lab. Today we're here at the Ford Ice Center Bellevue in Nashville, Tennessee, and we're doing some testing with future NHL stars. I'm Oliver Moore, I'm a center, and I'm playing for the University of Minnesota next season. Hey, my name is Dala Budvorsky, and I play centerman. For the event today, we brought our portable performance lab from Montreal, which allows us to look at how players move and apply forces on the ice. The technology that Movell has developed is sensor-based. So these sensors are talking together and then speaking to a system that's linked to a computer. We're able to get all the same data we would get about the position of the body, just in a way that's a little bit more indirect, but we're able to now take this like anywhere we want. So an ice hockey rink, or you could even take it outside onto like a field or anywhere your, your mind you know, could imagine basically. When a part of the body moves, the sensor knows how fast it's going, what orientation, where they are uh, relative to each other. So it's giving back kinematic data, basically. In biomechanics, we have two main types of metrics. First, there's kinematics, which describe uh, a movement. So it's like things like joint angles, speeds, position. And so that's really descriptive. The other one is kinetics, which is how you achieve changes in kinematics, if that makes sense. The system that we're using today allows us to capture both kinematics and kinetics at the same time. And that's what's really special. We're doing this for the first time ever. Putting pros on ice and gathering these metrics simultaneously and being able to provide them some sort of insight in terms of how their skating settings are affecting their skating performance. So when he says go, the trial starts, you're gonna do just a little hop and come down. He's like, like this? Exactly. So that tells the sensors, that's how we can tell when the trial starts. Okay. And you're gonna just skate from goal line to blue, circle back around, take your time. When you're ready to go again, we'll go again. Um, so for something like skating, we can see how the ankle is bending, we can see how the knee is bending, uh, what they're doing at their waist and their hips, what kind of movement they have. Um, so with that data, people can develop devices if that's what they're doing, so people, uh, make things that augment movements, so exoskeletons, things like that, and uh, develop gear as well so they can look at performance of different uh, things that people are wearing doing a certain task. Go. difference in your forward speed like do you feel like you're faster with one or the other? I feel other? like I'm faster with forward speed for sure. Yeah, yeah maybe like when I did the sprints it okay. felt a bit felt a bit better like I'm pushing off okay. like stronger but yeah we'll see in the results I might be wrong. The biggest thing for us was to learn what's interesting to them because the technology gives a lot of data back. It's a very vast uh, amount of information. So everybody that uses it wants something kind of a little bit different. So learning what is valuable to them um, in their data recordings and, and what they plan to do with the technology moving forward kind of helps us to gear what we do in the future towards things like that that can, um, like I said, help them, but also give us um, some more experience just seeing how it's used and, and what kind of the vision is and how we fit kind of their, their plans moving forward. My experience was really good. I mean, it was something totally new and uh, I didn't know what to expect, but I had, it was really exciting and uh, yeah, really cool. It was unbelievable. This testing, it's obviously like really high tech. I've never really done anything like this with the sensors and stuff like that, but I'm really excited to kind of see the results and how it can change or it can impact my equipment and my training. I think this is especially where the, the game's going, where the most talented players in the world are, are really hockey nerds. Now it's the first time that we're allowing players to get individualized insight on what skates should work the best for them. That's more than just like a marketing tagline.